Hello, and welcome to episode one, where I'll be going down to Redcliffe Airport to meet Alan Carlisle, where he'll be teaching us the basic skills that we will need in order to confidently build our van's RV14A. Join me on my journey as I embark on the most challenging and unique project I have ever personally embarked upon. I feel that I'm in good hands and I'm twice as blessed to have so many vans, aviators and local builders around my area here in Brisbane, Australia to teach me and mentor me along my build process in order to get my bird up in the air. This is a passion project that I'm just as eager to build as I am to fly. So let's duck down to Redcliffe Airport, meet up with Alan and go learn the necessary skills we will need in order to build the Vans RV14A. So at the end of this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and tell me what I'm doing wrong. tools and equipment. Air drills are better for drilling through aluminium uh, electric. Why? Because air tools can reach higher RPM. So the faster you drill through electric, the better the hole. Mm -hmm. Normally battery drills don't drill as fast. We can find the RPM on this, 15, 1500 RPM. The other thing is, number that's a number 40, the most common one mm -hmm. we'll be using, but also a number 30. So have them set up different colours. You know that's a 40, and you know that's a 30, and it just makes it easy. They're there, I dare to go too tall. So if you just drill some holes, just where you think, if you want to put some rivets on. That's a problem. Follow through. The follow through. Nice job, team. Stops. Mm -hmm. And the stops go on the on the drill bit with a, a rubber. Mm. So it's stopped. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting some timber behind that all. Oh, yeah. nice. But if you're going through empty air, that follow through can be a problem. Yeah, you're right. Not bad. No, just finish it? Yeah, finish it off. See how it gets here. Well, more precise. Can you be filming this? Yeah, why not? What we should have been doing as we went through this is we should have been following through at least every second one. With Clicos. Make sure we don't get any shit. Oh, yeah. Good point. You've got to separate the job. If you're doing this type of work, you've got to separate it several times and make sure you're not getting a build up. Mm. Because you do, you definitely do get a build up. Here we've got punch for us. So, what we're doing, we're going to match drill now. One, there's several times in the kit where you have to match drill. It's part of the 51% component. Gotcha. Bands could have. Sometimes it's also custom making this piece fit this piece and it can be just a fair or two off just by where you set it up. And so sometimes the match drilling is, is to make it hand fit. And then sometimes I think it's bands so you've got to do 51%, so they make you drill a hole or two. All right, so we're gonna just do the one, we'll put a Clico in and then yep. go again. And this is the right size bit for this size hole, or yep. are we oversizing the hole by doing this? No. Number 40, number 30, other rivets we use. Number 40, we use probably 85, 90% off. Number 30 is not so much. So you can drill another couple. Should we do every second or just in series? We're just making this one up because we're gonna we're gonna countersink, we're not gonna dimple. Here mate, do one more. Okay, we'll get the blow off. Keep off. Just getting the blue plastic off sometimes. Takes an hour's worth of work. Yeah. We'll 
big wings. You know. See the thickness of this? This is much thicker. That's that's not wing skin. That's that's an oversize. Mm -hmm. It's thicker unless you've got a really powerful dimpler. You're not going to dimple this. So you're going to have to count for that. So this is the micro stop. So which which end? We drilled it this way, didn't we? So we're going to countersink these three holes here. Yeah, to stop the pilot from rattling around, we want a hole. And and this has previously been set up, so we assume that the microstop is correctly calibrated and set. That moisture could have got caught behind this plastic as the plastic was put on, mm -hmm. and you can get corrosion. So all of a sudden you think you've got a brand new plane, the longer the plastic stays on, the higher the likelihood of a corrosion issue developing with moisture being stuck under the plastic. So Vans recommends you take the plastic off. Now you'll see a lot of builders in the blogs, they build and leave the plastic on the whole time. And the plastic, it does, it, it offers scratch protection. But it's depending on how long that plastic's been on there and how long it takes you to build is the higher the increase of getting a corrosion factor like on the, on the edges here. Just cut the plastic away, tear it away. They cut it away and leave the, the rivet line just exposed where the rivets and keep this and, and protects it. But I'm only repeating what fans have said on their website. So rivet these two together. On this run, we don't have any CAD punched holes like, like we do on, on this one where the, it's all CAD and click out, click out, it all fits perfectly. And to hold it there, we're going to need some clamps. And that's what the clamps are for. Here. This is a, a different type of clamp, fairly easy to use, to squeeze it down, or these tackers. So there will be times when you have to use clamps. And once we've got the holes drilled, we'll start click going them. Sounds good. And that's number 30. So you'll, you'll use the silver ones, uh, at least 10 to 1 for the number 30s. This is your, your main bread and butter of, of clicos. Once we get the holes drilled in here, we'll, we'll click on and hold them in. So the different colors, there's, there's another size up, a darker color than this one these two and it's 10 to 1 on the silver. Gotcha. The dimpler is not meant to start countersinking the hole. You know, it's meant to just take the edge off. So a revolution and a half will be more than you need. One revolution will take that edge off. Depending on how hard you push, I, I was always a, a one and a half revolution person, just kind of <coughs> went naturally for me. So you want to finish. Oh, right. We don't take the particularly the the hard edge where the drill, which is on the other side, where the drill's gone through, and given given us some really tough stuff. So we said to the kids last week they had this, and, and in their project it says you got to deburr it. So it was like this. So the kids went like this. So they went this side, this side, deburred. He said, hang on kids, what about this side and this side? Oh, I forgot about that. So yeah, it's 75% it's, it's is preparation in the build of an aircraft. And, and there's only perhaps 20%, 70, 75, 80% is preparation, which is this deburring stuff. And the, then you get the assembly, and that's the good part. Things start going together. But it's this tedious stuff here. So you've, you've finished deburring. Which dimple sets in. Then we're gonna be 
dimpling down this way. So it's can you reverse these dimples and dimple yep. it? Yep. Yeah, that way. Yep. That easier. Yep. You can. And once you get once you get your iron and good at this, when you're doing wing sheets, you just it's a production line. It's moving, and you you get to get the hole in the first time every time. their production line going so uh you, you better finish this off okay. watch how it's done and then reproduce and um, is it possible to over squeeze this or is it just kind of yeah. it's possible if you get find the uh, get over excited you just bruise it a little bit not bad. Okay, so these out, put these back in. The job's ready for riveting. Beautiful. We'll see you next time with some more riveting content. <laughs>